I want to fit front and rear cameras to my Triumph Bonneville and I've got this kit which used to be on my BMW K75 so I know it works it's just a matter of trying to fit it onto the new bike which has almost no stowage um, this is the monitor unit this is the power regulator rear camera front camera power input so this is my 2003 Triumph Bonneville which I've had for about a month and a half now and I want to fit new cameras to it um, you'll see under the seat there's absolutely no stowage but what I've realized is that this unit which is the factory fitted alarm actually isn't connected so I've undone it and I can completely remove it from the bike so I now then have a space here to put the camera now you could be wondering why on earth do you want to take the uh, mobiliser alarm off the bike firstly I didn't do it this was taken off five years ago and the reason they took it off is because it drains the battery if you're not using the bike every day and it sits in a store like mine does you'll come back to it and the battery will be dead they've also got a bad habit of immobilising the bike um, without you being able to repair it so I don't actually need that unit so that's going to come off what it consists of is the siren itself a connection through here to a seat switch and it was connected into the loom now the loom has been jumped um, again that was done five years ago so that's the unit removed that was pretty easy I had to cut off that connecting block because it was run through the frame um, I'll keep it but I'll probably never use that again that tucks neatly in there so that's the display that's the power regulator and if I touch the power across the battery we can see that it fires up um, my problem obviously is I need to connect it to a output that is not live when the uh, bike is turned off so I need to find somewhere on this bike uh, where there's an auxiliary now this is an extraordinarily long piece of cable so I could go anywhere on the bike with it it's just finding where it needs to go on this Bonneville when you turn the ignition on it turns the lights on the front and rear light and this is the connecting loom for the rear light and I've realized that if I put the power takeoff into the yellow one that will fire up the camera and then of course when you turn the power off it will turn itself off I've actually just connected it across the battery using a magnet to hold it on the negative terminal I now need to find which one of those is the earth so I can connect both of them into the back of that terminal I'll have the shortest amount of um, connecting cables and uh, the minimal amount of intervention brilliant as I suspected the black one is the earth so all I need to do is connect across that and that will fire it up every time I turn the ignition on all I need to do is make that connection by pushing those bare ends into the back of there taping it up uh, job done and easily reversible that's now wired in and all I've done is push them into the back of the fittings until they're nice and solid and tied them up tight with this little cable tie so now if I turn the key that fires up and then when I turn the key off shut down after three seconds perfect now all I need to do is locate the cameras the rear camera has been really easy to fit because it's a very short run up to the underside of my rack and just a couple of cable ties these cameras have a really wide field of vision the brackets are quite flexible so you can bend them and then you use the monitor to set them up the front one's much more difficult because I can't find a place for it to go the bracket that it has is not so flexible and it wants to be mounted like this which is really difficult because really it'd be much better if you could mount it in a different orientation I've mounted the camera on the underside of the instrument pod using one of the screws I accidentally broke off half of this 
I had to file that out to fit, but now that's perfect and also it's hidden and protected by the screen. Now all I need to do is run the loom along under the tank and back to the reader. When it's turned on the readout gives you the front camera and the rear camera and you can use the menu buttons to switch between them so you can set them up. I've got them pretty much set up as I want them now.